welcome to the Being Nutritious Kitchen. I'm Laura and I just wanted to drop in real quickly today to show you guys a little trick to cutting up an orange so that you don't get all of the little membrane pieces. Um, and this is great to use in fruit salads or smoothies or um, whatever you're making that you don't wanna have the stringy, pulpy, uh, membranes of the orange. So the first thing you want to do is wash and dry your orange and that's because when you have your knife and you cut through the orange skin, whatever bacteria or dirt is on the outside of the orange is going to end up on the inside of your orange. So um, if, you know, you think about when you go to the grocery store and you're picking out your orange, you're touching all the oranges, everyone else is doing that too. So the oranges are not clean. <laughs> so just make sure to wash and dry them before you get started. Um, so now let's take a closer look at how to cut up this orange. Okay, so you wanna have a really sharp knife for this and it can either be straight or serrated, it doesn't really matter. But the first thing you wanna do is cut off both ends of your orange. And you want to cut through enough of it so that you can see the actual orange in there and you can see the white part around the outside. Because you're gonna use that as your guide. So now you're gonna cut the peel off and you're gonna cut right around the outside there. And you wanna get as much of the white part off as you can. That's called the pith of the orange and it's sour. Um, it, you can eat it if you want, it's edible, but it is sour. So it will affect the quality of the, whatever it is that you're making. So just cut right around the orange like that, taking off as much of it as you can. And you can clean it up when you're done. So you don't have to worry too much about being perfect, but um, cut off the, the peel of the orange just like that. And then you can use these orange peels in like a potpourri or something like that if you want. So you can see you're not gonna get it perfect um, and that's okay, just flip it over and cut the remaining parts of the peel and the pith off. All right, now this next part I recommend doing over top of your bowl, it's gonna be pretty juicy. So you'll be able to see the segments now. You can see the lines, that's the membrane. So when you cut through, you just want to cut um, on the inside part of the membrane and just at an angle. You also wanna be very careful that you don't cut all the way through your orange and cut your hand. And just like that, you have the segment of your orange. So then you're just gonna do that all the way around the orange, move the membrane to the side as you go. Again, being very careful. And sometimes you're not gonna get it perfect, at least I don't, so you can just peel it off. It doesn't, it's not that hard, really. And the last one is always the trickiest, so be very careful with the knife. All right. And there you go. And then um, I always just kind of squeeze what's left so I get all of the juices. And there you go. You have your orange ready for your smoothie or your fruit salad and a little extra juices too. Thanks for tuning in guys, enjoy your orange segments.